So today we're installing an oil catch can on this 2007 uh, 9.3 2.8 Arrow. Mm -hmm. So really all we gotta do is just get this line out and put this in between both ends of the turbo. Catch some nasty oil vapors and water vapors that would get sucked back into the intake and into the turbo combustion chamber, etc. So yeah. We're gonna cut this line back first and then we'll show you what it looks like underneath. So once you get this metal foil, I don't know if it's gonna be still attached to your car, it depends on if someone's worked on it before or not. Uh, once you get it pulled back though, um, you're gonna take something like these aviation snips, something that can get down like this far on the hose, that way you're not getting near where the valve is tucked in because you're gonna wanna gently remove that. This valve can't be removed from the vehicle without damaging it. So the, it's kind of, you have to have a spare part. I I ordered what I thought was the right part. It honestly looks like I might be able to make it work anyway, but it's got a 90 degree bend on it. I don't know. So we gotta be careful with this. And I guess I'm gonna show you how to do it without damaging either of these. So yeah, let's continue here. All right, so we got this off, uh, or the plastic hose that was attached to it. I used a razor blade to cut through it. That way I didn't damage the nipple fitting down there. Um, we got way more engine, or we got way more hose than we needed. This is a 3 8 power steering hose, that way it can hold up to the temperature of the turbo. Loop it through this uh, engine bay, mount, like the engine hoist mount. That way you don't put too much stress on the PCV hose, or the PCV valve. This right here will keep it going straight and angle it just at the right amount. That way, when we cut it down, we'll be able to mount the catch can right about here. Maybe we'll figure something out to flip it around, put it over here. We'll figure that out once we come to it. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. All right, so we need to get the catch can, the bracket. I ended up just using like a four inch bracket for a shelf. We're gonna get it mounted right about here, farther down. This hose is in the way for now. Got it marked out right here. So I'm just gonna drill that out and then trim up this bracket once I got it installed and can mark out where I need to trim it. All right, so we got the catch can installed. The way we ended up doing it was taking the four inch L bracket from Walmart, cut off the end of it so that the hood could clear it, put a bolt in there, use some epoxy on the bottom side of the bolt so that hopefully when I undo this in like, you know, 300 miles or so when I check it for the first time, I can just leave the bolt in there as a stud for it. I would, have made it where I could unscrew it from the bottom, but there's not enough clearance in the engine for one of this size. I just didn't want a super dinky tiny one. So the way we routed the hoses, um, on this side is the in and on this side is the out. So in is coming from the PCV valve and out is going into the turbo. So in, I looped it around here through this engine bay loop and up to the PCV valve. That way it doesn't put too much stress on it, leaning it either which way. It's really straight and sturdy using that right there. I know it's kind of not how you're supposed to do it, but it is what it is. Now for the turbo side, because it's at a 90 degree elbow coming out this way since they originally just connect right here, I took it. And again, not to put any stress on it, I went out and I gently bent it in. Um, that way this line doesn't get any kinks in it. Went down under these lines and looped back up and into the out. It's a little sucky that these two are flipped around, but it is what it is. I had to make do with the, the catch can that I have. We're gonna run it and um, people are interested, I'll post like a review of how it goes over time. Got this uh, dipstick here, which will be nice too. That way when I, I don't need to remove the thing to check it every time. I can just do that. And then once it gets to the proper point, take it to the auto parts store to get rid of the oil that's in there. But yeah, so that's installing a catch can in your 9.3. 2.8, 93 arrow.